welcome uh, all the viewers all over india uh, to this uh, lecture discussion on uh, regulating cyberspace uh, a medium a technology or a space uh, we have uh, uh, with us the main panelist uh, lawrence liang lawrence liang is a researcher working with the alternative law forum bangalore and he was the one of the founder of these uh, uh, alternative uh, legal conceptions in india and uh, lawrence specializes in law culture and politics of intellectual property rights and his book on uh, open source movement uh, uh, raised a number of uh, uh, concerns uh, in india and abroad uh, today uh, we thought we will just uh, raise and understand a number of concerns within the regulating the cyber space uh, lawrence is going to critically uh, examine the dominant paradigm of the control and surveillance uh, over the internet and to look at what are the alternative conceptions that uh, the citizens can uh, formulate and uh, have a new uh, conceptions emerging to safeguard the citizens interests on the internet and lawrence is also going to uh, explain uh, the two conflicting concerns one uh, one is the the major important thing is a real concern of the citizens and the state some of the genuine concerns and also a number of imaginative concerns which are hyped over the internet uh, my colleague uh, gurmeet kaur who is the program coordinator of uh, pg certificate in cyber law will explain about the objective of the program and then we will switch over to lawrence liang uh, for the discussion before starting our presentation on regulating cyberspace a medium a technology or a space i would like to give that information about the program which is post graduate certificate program in cyber law this is the first program which is being launched by school of law in july 2008 basically this course is of 6 month duration this is a 6 month certificate course uh, it has four option four courses all the courses are compulsory basically what we are covering in this is uh, first of all we are covering cyberspace technology and social issue which is our first course and second course is uh, on uh, cyberspace uh, e-commerce and cyberspace then we have right uh, right to privacy and data protection and one more course we have on regulation of cyberspace so basically all the courses are compulsory and the eligibility criteria as you know is graduate in any discipline and uh, it's of uh, the medium we are offering is english only so uh, that's uh, the information about the uh, course and i think we we should start our lecture uh, which is on reg uh, cyber regulating cyberspace a medium technology or a space and this is based on our course one that is cyberspace technology and social issues so switch over to lawrence leung thank you thank you professor rao and thank you gurmeet uh, i'm going to be speaking <coughs> today about the question of regulating cyberspace are we talking about a technology a medium or a space in many ways i mean the the way that the internet has transformed our lives you know we don't need to say much about that there is almost a difficulty in imagining life before the internet can we imagine for example how we communicated before we actually had access to email it's difficult to imagine how we did research before we had access to something like google and yet this pervasive presence of the internet in our lives is rarely examined when it comes to various areas of conflict and increasingly there has been a larger number of demands that have been made for the need to regulate the you know the 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 medium of the internet far more greatly one of the questions that i want to raise is really about the conceptual clarity that exists when a system of law or a system of regulation encounters a phenomenon like cyberspace and the question really is that when it encounters a phenomenon like cyberspace how does it regulate it does it attempt to understand it in terms of it being a medium does it attempt to understand it only in terms of it being a technology or is there an attempt even to understand it in terms of a space and i'll get to what i mean by when you know by asking the question whether it's a space or not Uh, and for me this photograph rather illustrates well mm, the dilemmas of thinking about cyberspace itself in recent times uh, the demands has been that there should be a far more strict regulation of the internet and there is a lot of anxiety 
produced by the idea of the net. In 2002, uh, for example, the Bombay High Court, in response to a Suomoto writ petition, had formed a committee that would recommend measures to protect and shield minors from pornographic and obscene materials on the internet. This report is available online for people who are interested in reading it. But what is interesting when you read the report is the fact that it's not restricted to the narrow domain of protecting and shielding minors from pornography and obscene material, but they go on to speculate about an entire realm of kind of behavior, of questions of identity, and a whole range of concerns around the internet. Now, if I can look at the moral panic around the net, I would say that there are three figures that actually animate discussions on the internet. There are three kind of spectral figures that animate the anxiety of the net. The first one is the pervert in the cubicle. And these are, you know, concerns around questions of sexuality, around pornography, access to obscenity, etc. But the idea that someone sitting in his or her private space is accessing material that they are not otherwise allowed to. And the whole range of examples of this kind of anxiety around, you know, the proliferation of discussions of sexuality on the internet, uh, starting from the MMS scandal involving, you know, two school children based in Delhi, uh, to, of course, the proliferation of a wide range of material which are otherwise proscribed in India. The second figure, the second spectral figure for me, is the terrorist with the mobile phone. Now, this entire anxiety that people are accessing, exchanging, transmitting data in a way that could, for example, threaten national security is again a concern that widely animates the call for greater you know, regulation of the internet. Uh, the fact that the net allows you anonymity is a source of great anxiety. And the third concern is really around the figure of the pirate. The person downloading music and films in a way that subverts traditional understandings of property. So the film industry, for example, claims that you know every year it loses X billion amounts of rupees or X crores of rupees <coughs> and says that part of the blame has to go to the net. So if you were to take these three spectral figures and look at what they represent, the first one is a certain moral panic around questions of morality. The second is a figure that threatens the idea of traditional understandings of jurisdiction. And the third is a figure that threatens the traditional ideas of property. So the immediate claim is that given this kind of moral panic that has you know, <coughs> emerged because of the figure of the cyborg or the netizen, how do we now attempt to regulate this? And my question really is that as people interested <coughs> in a critical examination of law, how do we take a slightly nuanced understanding of these phenomena? And how do we place them within a larger context? If you look at some of the recent experiences in India, the first time that there was actually a demand for a regulation of the net really emerged during the Kargil War with the banning of certain Yahoo groups. Because what was interesting is that even as a real war was being fought on the ground, there was also a virtual battle that was taking place in cyberspace between people in different kinds of groups making either accusations or hate speech comments against each other. And the first time that there was a demand was around that time. And that's really the awakening in a sense of what the state perceived to be the threat to its idea of sovereignty. The other two examples include www.hinduunity.org and Dalit.